spell Freaky Bash in Nambuka with a scruff? Oh. What is the story behind the scruff? Uh, me and the drummer Omar, who's not here, bless him, um, went to school together and wanted to start a band. So we started writing songs in his garage and we needed a bass player. And we are friends with this guy, Sam. This is the bass player, Sam. Yeah. We went Hello. to a party. Hello, <laughs> Sam. Hello. Hello. We saw him dancing. This is genuinely. We what saw were the dancing. dance moves? What were the dance moves? Oh, can, we have, can we have a reenaction of the dance it moves? It was like R&B. It was some R&B. You know your little R&B Do box. the dance moves. Grind it. Do some, do some well, sexy. Well, there's no R&B. you got to sing me some R&B and then we'll get if on with it. If you're horny, get to it. It was like that. It was like that. Classic R&B dance. It's the two step. It's a classic two step. And we saw that and we're like, he's got rid of me. We have to play bass. And and recruited you, didn't we? They were wrong. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, how wrong we could have been. Um, No, and then we said, Sam, you need to buy a bass. And I think it was about six months later, you just turned up at the house with a bass. So uh, you met Sam through that way. And what was the story? I only came in about a year ago. The new guy. So you're quite new. Yeah, He's the I, new guy. I went to watch him and another band called Monarchs, who are from our area in Bedford. I went to watch him play, and they thought I looked like uh, Omar's girlfriend at the time. Oh. Uh, so you looked like a girlfriend of a drummer. He yeah. did, and we all night we were like, that guy looks so much like Omar's girlfriend. And then he ended up being in the band, which is amazing. Yeah, they that found me, and that was it. Yeah, from watching him. So you've had a pretty mad festival season. You've done loads of festivals. What festivals have you done? Uh, Isle of Wight, why not? Anyone? Truck. Truck. Well, you know we've done Isle of Wight because we saw you at Isle of Wight. Okay, yeah. so, here we go. What is your favourite festival story of this summer? Seeing you slumped in the bottom of a gazebo. Slumped. On the sun, the Sunday of Isle of Wight. So, yeah. what, what's the story? I, I don't know. I think you had heat stroke. I had heat, heat stroke. I had heat stroke. Yeah. I'm I don't sure know if you had that. heat stroke, but you definitely told me about seven, eight, nine, ten times that you had heat stroke. And what was I doing? Uh, well, well, yeah, not much. Like, when you left, you were passed out in a gazebo. Just on the floor, just hugging your own legs. I actually had heat stroke. <laughs> <laughs> I actually had heat stroke. And I was so bad that you were cuddling a pile of red stripe and were reluctant to give them away. And you stole them. We you did. stole my red stole stripe. One. I stole one. I left you. I stole, no, I stole the you other. Take yeah. one. <laughs> okay. Well, I was kind enough right, to interview you over, interview over. <laughs> <laughs> so You didn't need them red stripes. I did, I did. <laughs> so you've got a new song coming out. Can you tell me a bit more about this one? Here's new. What's the new song coming out? What any you? It's called Let You Down, I Won't. We have got a This Feeling tour, um, along with a single, so that starts at the end of this month, the 3rd of November, I think. Yeah, we've got, so we've got Leeds, we've got Leeds. Lincoln, Leicester, Blackpool, Birmingham. Birmingham. Birmingham, yeah. Do you know the dates you just can't No, I don't know any dates or anything. I'm just here. <laughs> and there's another London date in there as well that it was up until this point unannounced, but I just announced it then. So there's a London date as well. So we chatted earlier about organ donation. Why is this an important matter to you as a band? It's not something that I'd ever thought about. It's not something you want to think about, is it? It's no, like, you wouldn't like really. Mortality, like... Especially how old you want? Uh, well, I'm not going to say how old I am. <laughs> a lady never tells. A lady never tells. How old you are, roughly? Brackets. Mid-twenties. 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 I like that answer. I like mid- that answer. Okay, we're all mid-twenties. We're all mid-twenties, that works. All mid-twenties. So someone in the mid-twenties. Yeah. You don't really think of that when you're that young. Yeah, why would you? Like, it's not something that I'd ever thought about. I don't think any of us had. And then our drummer, his kidneys failed midway through a tour. So um, your drummer's kidney failed midway through a tour? Yeah. yeah. In Doncaster. Shit, in Doncaster. do you know the reason why? Still don't know. Still don't know. High blood we, pressure. We, we know it's high, high blood, blood, blood pressure. pressure. Blood we don't know what caused the high blood pressure. But we just thought he was hungover for a long time. We just thought he was being a bit of a bitch and then he um, and we made him, him do hospital. 12 hours drumming in the studio yeah took him in the studio and then he went to hospital well he went to the doctors the day after the studio well we made him go we made him go he still wasn't gonna go he was like no I feel alright so yeah he was like no no I'll no, be fine I'll be fine I'm just tired we made him go and they were like oh yeah you've got 8% kidney function yeah. so yeah. he needs a kidney transplant yeah yes. so he's on the list and he's waiting and I think as soon as he found out he needed a transplant we all sort of backed him up but, and yeah. there was awareness because yeah, because it's so easy to do as well. I, I, I thought I'd have a little browse. So I just went online and thought I'd have a look and see how difficult it is. And then within like three minutes, I'd done it. And I was just like, oh, right. Oh, it's that, that's it. And they send you a little card and that's, that's, that's you done. So you anyone watching, it's so important for like, you know, raising awareness, kidney transplants, organ, you know, organ donations. 
get on it. If you've got and my organs, don't bother. And if you, if you don't want to like give your eyes away, you, you can, can actually choose, choose, you choose, choose certain things. Like, yeah. 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 Certain so if you only want to give away your like certain Kidneys organs, you can just tick yeah. what you want to give away and keep the rest. Not that you'll need them, do you know what I mean? You don't want my organs. We're all going to be dead. None of our organs. <laughs> yeah, you don't want our organs. You don't want our organs. But if you're yeah. a healthy person that doesn't go out every single weekend, then um, donate your organs to someone that might need them. All right, well, thank you for the chat, lads. And you're going to smash it tonight. Thank you for entertaining us. I actually had you to look at the